I have so many fond memories of La Lagoon. Um, just growing up on it, in it, around it. Probably most of it is just involving being on the islands and, and seine netting and, and finding horseshoe crabs and hermit crabs and even seahorses, which are unheard of now. I really wanted to serve on this, the Citizens Oversight Committee because it's, it's such a unique opportunity that we're allotted in Bavard and Florida at large. A, a lot of states don't give this opportunity to their own citizens to be such participants in not just doing things, but helping to make sure things are done right. And I've just done so much around the lagoon with Sierra Club, with the Environmental Club in college, and so many other programs with pepper busts and mangrove plantings, and just being out myself fishing and swimming and kayaking and boating on it. Overall, to me, the biggest challenge is keeping up on the work that's been done. You could spotlight so many things that have been worked on in the past and the present and, and hopes for the future, but it's keeping up with it. Aside from being on this oversight committee, uh, currently, I, I like to constantly keep up and be aware and, and educate people, not just formally like I do with the uh, Imagine Our Florida group I work with, where we educate people on native Florida wildlife and ecosystems, but I also just randomly, when I go down and I'm walking the lagoon and I re meet people and I like to talk to them, do they know? Do they know about it? Where are they from? They might not have any clue about the unique life and the unique system that we have here. It is so vitally important to protect and, and to help restore the lagoon back to as much of the former glory as we can because it is just integral for people. I believe that nature and people have, are supposed to have somewhat of an intimate relationship with each other. And me as the tourism member, I, I believe it's important that I emphasize people's involvement, not just for, for business and for enjoyment. That, that we need to have access and we need to be able to maintain this ability to use the lagoon for pleasure, for business, just for life. And, and this is again a spotlight down here because you can see at the historical house behind me that they lived so close to the lagoon. There's no reason that we can't continue that as well.